So here's the uh, Dell XPS 1. Uh, I have it laying on the uh, table uh, face down. Nothing's underneath it to bother the uh, to bother the screen. Okay, and there's two screws. There's one right there and one on the other side which is actually missing courtesy of whoever worked on it last. So you want to remove those two screws. Well here we are. The screws out, the one screw, and it's right there. You're going to take, come up here and use your fingers. Um, you're going to push down on the top where the speaker is and you're going to take your palm and push that way. So just grab it and pull it up forward and lift it up. It's only going to come up about a quarter of an inch. You're going to take this whole thing off. Now unlike my touch screen and the other HP uh, flat screen, the only one, this has big chips, like it goes to desktop, the memory chips are, are large. It's the same thing that goes into a desktop computer. So uh, I've showed this in other videos. You want to be careful here about your electric static discharge when you're working inside this thing. You pull these two tabs out. You see how it pushes that out? And you lift this up. Alright, make sure you're touching it on the sides. You can touch on top of the chips. I don't know if the chips on that yet, but you can touch on both sides of the chips. But don't touch the circuitry on this and don't touch the pins. When you put it back in, if you get this backwards, uh, the keyway down here is not going to line up. Alright, so slide it down inside the two, uh, two ride areas. The, it rides down and you push it down and bring these in. You push down and a click, and your RAM is in there. These come with one gig RAM, and I think uh, you could throw two gigs in each side. I'm not really sure what the max on this is. Well, we're getting ready to close this thing up. You want to make sure your memory chips are um, seated in and plugged in. Everything, all the screws are down. Take one good look off. Start from the right. Work your way over to the right, to the left. Make sure all the screws are in. Nothing loose. Okay, this is back on there, nice and good. And then we're going to go in complete reverse of what we did before when we took this thing off. So we're going to put it up about a um, quarter inch or so. Or less. I think that's more like a, yeah, it's about a quarter inch. It sits down. Okay. Looks pretty even. And we slide it toward us. So actually it went on pretty easy. Uh, when this is done, there's one screw here, one screw here that we took off before. You use a smaller Phillips head to do that. I'm going to put this right back in where it was when I took it out. I did inform the customer that uh, he has one screw missing. So this is what holds on the back and I couldn't find another screw that matches it. And he had stated that his brother or somebody, uh, a friend of his, uh, um, took it apart trying to fix it. So anyway, uh, this concludes this video. I uh, hope you like, uh, you know, it was helpful in some way. I need to test it now, see if the video actually works, of uh, the display on this actually works. Subscribe if you want and see a lot more. Bye.